Hello and welcome. Uh, Ani uh, Nigik Indijnikas. Uh, my name is Paul Whittem and I'm here to do a bit of an activity with you today. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating a feather. Uh, now the importance of a feather um, in First Nations life um, we use them a lot in our ceremonies, um, and the feather represents sort of uh, your physical being, so who you are as a person. Um, also, the feathers also represent our spiritual sides, which is uh, very important. Uh, so today, we're going to be going through a step-by-step, -step, um, very simple instruction on how you can make your own feather drawing or painting. Uh, and uh, hopefully by the end, we'll have a nice uh, finished product. And uh, we'll have a look at a couple of the feathers that I've, I've painted myself in the past. Uh, and I've actually got one uh, I'm currently painting right now. Um, so we'll have a look at uh, the little little step-by-step short uh, how-to on how to create your own uh, feather. Hello again. So here we are in uh, my studio. Um, I've got my uh, table behind me, my drafting table, which is where I do a lot of my painting. So as you can see uh, around the table, there's a lot of paint because I do a, a lot of painting. So there's always a lot of messy, messy business being an artist, but it's it's also fun, a fun mess to make. So um, what we're going to do is step one um, of this project. All you're going to need is a, well, a piece of paper, maybe somebody to help you out to do the basic figure of the feather. And what I'm going to do is just demonstrate on this piece of canvas I have here. And I'm going to be using just a Sharpie to, uh, to draw out the simple design of the feather. And then from there, um, I'll allow you to get creative with your colors, with what you're going to use to, to color in that feather. You may use crayons, you may use pencil crayons or markers, uh, or for the more advanced, you might be using paints as well. Now, paints are a little more tricky because you can't make as many mistakes because it's kind of hard to erase uh, paint off of off of a canvas or paper. So I suggest that you start with something uh, simple like a piece of paper um, and some maybe pencil crowns or crowns, something like that. Uh, markers too, but markers, you know, you, usually markers are permanent, so you'll have a hard time if you make a little bit of mistake that you're not happy with, you'll have to start over because um, markers are pretty, pretty tough to to fix if you make a, if you make a mistake. So uh, what I'll do is I'm going to show you the basic design um, on how to draw the feather itself, um, and that should just take me a minute or so, and then we'll we'll proceed on from there. Okay, so here we are. We've got a, a piece of, of canvas here, blank canvas. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, show you how to, to do this, this feather. Just the design is, is relatively simple. Um, and I'm gonna be using my Sharpie, but like I said, if you have a piece of paper, just use a pencil and, uh, you know, start using a pencil and then you can adjust uh, if you make any mistakes. I've done this uh, several times, so, um, hundreds of times so I, I sort of got used to the the shape of a feather and i do i, I love this uh so i'll show you very quickly how to do it so i'm going to start up top and i'm going to do a simple line right down the center of the page okay just like that okay so there's our line now i suggest using doing one side of the feather first and then you know adjust to the other side so uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'll sort of, uh, I'll start with the one side and then I'll, I'll show you um, 
at home on how to, to go about finishing. So we've got a line here like this. Then we're going to come back up to the top and sort of make a V. I know you might not be able to see because I'm right-handed and my hand might be in the way. Um, but very simply, we're going to do this. Okay, so we're going to come up with another, just a smaller V, so add a bit of variety. And then we're going to come down and then end here like this. Okay, so it's, 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 it's fairly straightforward. So you've got this line here that comes down. Then you're going to go upwards a little bit on a, you know, a good angle. And then you're coming down again, and then a little upwards V like that. And then coming down, and then looping up to the stem. And the stem is this middle line that I've started with right here. Okay, so I'm going to start doing the other side. Um, hopefully we can see a little better. I'll try to get out of the way so you can all see. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now we don't want to match up. We don't want to be too symmetrical. Okay, so there's where our V is going to be here. Okay, and then you're going to come straight down again and maybe put a small notch right here. So you'll notice when you look at a feather, you're going to see all these sort of little notches and imperfections. They're not always perfect looking feathers. And also the stem on feathers sometimes isn't just straight. It, it has a curve to it. Um, so this is where you can get a little more creative. So I'm going to just finish up here. Okay, and then we're going to come down on an angle and then just finish up like that. So there's your feather design. Okay, and so what you want to do around the feather, you want to color a nice background in this big white space around it. So you can use whatever colors that you like, your favorite color, maybe blue or green or red. Um, maybe even splitting it down one side, maybe do it blue or the other side, maybe do it uh, red on one side and blue on the other. Um, and then the inside of the feather is where you can get really creative. You can either color it one solid color or what I'm going to show you what I do is I like to add all sorts of different designs within the feather itself. So this is where you can get very, very creative and uh, add your own personal flair to your feather. So let's take a better look at that. So pretty, pretty rough. I've got the, the stem going down the center. Now I'll show you what to do with the stem afterwards um, in the next step. So there's what you should have on your piece of paper. Um, fairly simple design. Um, again, if you're a little bit younger, you might want to get someone uh, a little older uh, who has maybe a steadier hand or something like that to help you out a little bit to get that, that nice design. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. And with enough practice, you'll be able to do it just like this yourself very quickly like I did. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples of feathers that I have done myself just to give you an idea of what you can do on your own. All right, so looking good so far. Uh, so here's what I have. Uh, one of the feathers that I'm currently working on and it's based on a design that I've done, I've done years ago and I'll show you that that design that I've of a completed feather and it's pretty large. It's a pretty big painting. Um, so I'm going to show you this one though up close so you can get a, a little bit more of an idea on the colors that you can choose. Maybe some of the designs you might want to add. Um, you know, some of you might like stars and you may want to draw some stars on the inside of your feather here uh, instead of these little shapes that I've got going on here. So you might want to do stars. Some of you might like uh, to do polka dots. Maybe you like something like that instead. Or maybe you want to be very realistic and try to do a feather, uh, look at a picture of one and then try to copy it exactly. So that's entirely up to you. So we're going to have a little bit of a closer look at the one that I'm working on now. So this feather here 
is one that I'm painting. So you can see here we've got it's uh, it's got some it's an island is what it is. So you can see the rocks up here and there's a little bush up here. There's no trees yet. I haven't added the trees. And then I've got the water down here, the blue. And the sky, I've chosen a nice sort of orangey red color to be the sky. So it's 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 looking pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's almost finished. I've just got to add some trees and maybe uh, I think I'm going to do like a, a little bit of a sun here with a reflection of it down here. And you'll see that in the next painting, the actual finished one that I, fa that I have of my own. So there's an idea of where you can go with it. But I encourage you to add your own personal flares on the inside of the feather here. Okay, also, um, just take note, the stem um, on the one that I showed you the, on the white canvas was straight. So what I've done here is I've added uh, the thickness to the stem. Okay, so it, um, it runs all the way down the feather and it sort of tapers when it gets down to the end, the little tip of the feather here. So keep that in mind, um, maybe something that would be your second step after Sorry, before you start doing all the nice designs on the inside is try to get that stem in there and then you can do your your designs. Um, so there's an example of a work in progress. And then I'm going to show you just one more thing and then I'm going to let you guys uh, get to work on your own feather. All right, and welcome back. Uh, so this is the final image I'm going to share with you. Uh, this is a rather large feather that I've done in the past. And you'll notice it looks very similar to the one I just showed you. Um, this one has... Uh, oops, sorry, one second. So this one was was made many years ago, but uh, it's it's pretty large. As you can see I'm standing in front of it. I'm trying to get out of the way so I can see you. So now you can see the... Uh, the details in the islands. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch this around. Uh, switch my camera around so you can see it a little better. Actually, that's about the best that I can do. But you can see the designs in the feather. I've got the, the sun and it's reflecting in the water. And you can see the trees on the islands as well, as well as some of the different designs I have in, within the feather. So that's sort of, you know, that's my take on the feather. And I encourage you to add your own personal flair, your own personal favorite colors, your own personal favorite design into your feather. And then you can have your own feather to hang up on your wall. So, uh, hopefully this has been a, a good instructional video for you to start your way on making your own uh, feather. So thank you very much and I hope you all have a very good day. Uh, my name is Paul Whittem. And uh, Bama P. Bye bye.